We stand against the spirit of hatred, judgment, and discrimination which creates division instead of unity. The United Methodist Church isn't unified on having members of the LGBTQ community serve in leadership roles, which has created division in the church and could cause a split. Representatives of the church met in St. Louis. Many of them agreed to more strongly enforce a rule to restrict gay people from preaching behind the pulpit. For a denomination that prides itself on open hearts and open minds, some clergy and members say they are willing to break away and truly follow their faith. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez explains. Well, with 7 million members, the United Methodist Church is the second largest Protestant denomination in the U.S. It has 13 million members worldwide. And while the church in the Western U.S. is more accepting of gay clergy and same-sex marriage, that is not the case in other parts of the world. If this goes in the strictest form, yes, there, there could be charges brought against anyone who did a same-sex marriage. Uh, if you are gay and out, you could be removed. Reverend Tom Wolf, president of the Isle of School of Theology, says there's growing concern that a decision to enforce divisive bans on same-sex marriage and ordination of gay clergy will lead to defections from the church. The openly gay bishop of UMC's Mountain Sky Conference, which includes Colorado, says what many people heard from the vote in St. Louis is that they are not wanted. Some people would prefer a church without them, without me. I asked Bishop Karen Olivedo if the decision will affect her. I know I'm called to this ministry. I've been affirmed to this ministry, and I'm going to do that until God tells me otherwise. Bishops from other continents want the bans against same-sex marriage and LGBT ordination enforced. So for someone to suggest that if you support some other plan, it will be limited, the actions will be limited to uh, America, that is a delusion. I would like to say I was surprised, but I wasn't. Pastor Sharon Langfeld of Christ Church United Methodist says theirs is a welcoming church with no plans to change. This church it will be the same church it was yesterday and the day before. She says what's different is that there may be a need for additional love and support for people harmed by the decision. Now, the tougher enforcement of the bans on same-sex marriage and LGBT ordination are not expected to take effect until January 1st of 2020. The church's court is expected to weigh in before then, so there could be some changes. We will keep you updated. Anne? All right, we know you will. Thank you, Lance.